Welcome back, Captains. This is the Dunlawton boat ramp, and if you haven't seen it before, it's because I normally film on the other side. The bird sanctuary over here is opened up during the summertime. They restrict it from January to August 31st. You can get a little bit better view, like this guy throwing all the line from the boat supply company over here to the people on the dock. Or you can see this hurricane boat or whatever it is right here with a line sitting in the water there, just ready to get into the prop. Well, this guy hops on board and points out that, hey, you better watch out. There's a boat coming in here while you're backing up. And she's over there making that line nice and tidy. I don't know what she did there, but it looks like she made a nice nest out of that line on the cleat. While you're watching them, I want you to pay attention to the guy over here on the right. The one with the pontoon boat. And they're walking it back right now. Look how deep he's putting that thing in there. I don't know if you heard that or not. But if you didn't, that was the sound of the trailer going over the ledge. He stuck like Chuck. Man, look at that bumper flex. I imagine he's sweating right now because he can't figure out what's going on with his trailer. Let's watch him get in here one more time and see if he can snatch this thing out. Probably about a month ago, someone tried this very same thing and they broke their axle on the trailer. Now this is one of them things that you can easily fix right here. And the way to fix it is don't go in so deep. Launch it a little bit more shallow. And then make sure that your wheels don't fall off the ramp. I'm just kidding. That's how you prevent it. One way you can fix this though is you get a couple people in the water there and lift up on the trailer as he pulls out. Even the pelicans are coming in trying to figure out what's going on over here. Now he's going to tie the boat off and block the ramp here instead of moving that thing around. Now another option that you can do if you don't know this but it's not legal advice is you can tie a line to the back of the trailer and put it up on one of your cleats and back up a little bit and hopefully stretch that thing out so it lifts up off of that ledge. Well, here he goes again. And he's probably like, damn. Now there's only a few times that you're going to hear go deeper, and this ain't one of them right here. He walks around the parking lot searching for answers. And he about ended up on his rear end there at the ramp. I told you this spot's real slippery. Now some of the necessities in a truck is the truck toolbox. And inside that truck toolbox, you gotta have some dry rotted rope. More than likely the river monster underneath the ramp there has a hold of it and ain't letting go. Now they bring out that rope and hook it up to this Ford Dually right here. I bet if Turbo Whistle was here from the other video, he'd probably be able to snatch this thing out. But again, that's something you don't want to do. You don't want to snatch these out. You're liable to break the bumper, the axle on your trailer, or shoot, even a windshield. Now they tie a few knots in the tangle here and get this thing hooked up. So what you're seeing there in front, you got a truck with a jet ski trailer and the rope's tied to the bumper going over the trailer here. Let's see how this goes. I can hear it right now.
A little bit more time goes by. He hops in the back of his truck, and like I said, inside those truck boxes, you got to have something really good in here to yank something out of the water like this. And there it is. Look at that. I think that's like a tentacle or a tapeworm or something like that. Now, when he picked that thing up, there wasn't any tangles in it, but as soon as he touched it, it started tangling up. And while this guy's over here doing his thing with his trailer, the other guy that's actually stuck in the water over here by his truck, chatting about it some more. He gives a thumbs up and then Snatch Master starts to go forward here. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if you notice, but Snatch Master's in four wheel drive as well. That front tires are spinning. There you go. Damn, look at that bumper. Reflection of it tells me something ain't right there. It didn't look like that before. I think his axle's okay, but the bumper, I don't know. Now he comes down and looks at the trailer there. Instead of helping that guy get his tapeworm off of his truck, he comes over here and checks on it. Well, and after that ordeal, he's going to go ahead and just drive his trailer back over there to a full lot. I think he makes it back in about 10 minutes. Instead of moving the boat, he got these people over here waiting. Him, and they're watching him drive off there after this show. But he's still blocking the ramp. Well, he finally made it back. Look at him. He's going to continue talking about it. I don't know what's going on here. He's still talking about it. I'll tell you what it was. If you don't know what it was, you backed in too far simple as that well we got these boats four wide they're sitting here hanging out and everybody's blocking everything oh well, here we go these two coming out at the same time right here now as these guys get going i notice this here this line that's just hanging off of here as soon as they get in the wake zone, that thing's going to be in the back of the boat, probably in the prop. Everybody should secure their lines when they leave here. If you haven't had a line get wrapped up in a prop, you're going to need a knife and some pliers to get that thing out of there. Welcome to Credit Card Captain. Well, back over here to the boat ramp. Now, you guys might have seen that U-Haul video or that photo that was out there circulating around. I was hoping that was going to be this here at the Dunlop boat ramp, but I guess not. It's just jet skis. We got them coming up in the next video. This captain over here on the left here, he can't figure out why the boat's not coming off the trailer. I can. Straps. Now he hops in the truck back there, and I don't know if you see this kid over here on the left-hand side there. He's staying up on the back, bouncing around. About gets launched in the water. Oh. I don't know if you saw that rope right there. Get you some right in the arm. I'm sure that didn't feel good, but there it is. There's the straps. I guess it's better to use them, because if you don't use them, you're going to lose them. Welcome to ramp camping at Dunlop Boat Ramp. Well, we were four wide for a little bit here, and you can see the white truck on the right-hand side and the lady captain in there. They ain't having it. They're just going back in and see if they can't get out of here and thread the needle through these boats. That's what I would do. And if you weren't aware of it, on the other side over here of the Dunlop boat ramp, there's a rookie ramp over there. 
and you can bring the small boats over there and get out on the water. It only takes you about two and a half minutes to get around. But she does that real well. Look at that. You guys can probably see the tide kicking back through there. And job well done. Now that's how you do it. A little pump, dump, and go, and then you're out of here. Well, she goes into a holding position out there and waits for the boyfriend or the husband or the cousin, if you're out there from Alabama, to come back in and pick them up. Well, I want to see what you guys think about this view over here. Do you like this one better than over there on the other side? Over on the other side, I can interact with people. Over here, it's kind of like me being by myself. Now, on the website at creditcardcaptain.com, you can get little bits of merch up there if you'd like some. You got the floating keychain, some stickers, we got some t shirts hats and we got some more stuff coming on that note it's time to go the skis are out there they're leaving i'm leaving and i want to thank you for watching liking subscribing i'll see you on the next one